Dr. Budoff, what is tennis elbow? Tennis elbow is the most common cause of pain on the outside of the elbow. It's an injury to the muscles and tendons there that help you grip and lift. Uh, people call it tendonitis. It's actually degeneration of those tendons, usually from overuse. Um, it causes pain. It causes weakness. And uh, it definitely gets your attention. On the inside, there's golfer's elbow, which is the same exact thing, but different tendons. These are the tendons that help you lift with the palm up and pronate, meaning turn your palm down. Again, this is, uh, it can be due to trauma, but it's often an overuse uh, condition. And uh, again, leads to pain and weakness. What happens if tennis elbow and golfer's elbow go without treatment? If you don't treat them, you pretty much got what you got. If you continue the painful activities, it will get worse. And, you know, if you're working and your job hurts, then it's going to continue to get worse. Or your activities, if you're doing it, uh, can, it'll continue to get worse and it gets to the point where you're going to want to stop that for a while and uh, get some treatment. How do you treat them? Okay. Uh, people have funny ideas about these disorders. It's helpful to see a specialist. But uh, basically, a lot of people tell you just rest it and put ice on it and then take anti-inflammatories and get an injection. All those are fine. They provide comfort, but there is no cure for them. If they're mild, while you're comfortable, your body can heal it. Uh, but those don't work if it's more severe. Um, so basically, there is a balance between the stress you place on your elbow, the amount of strength your muscles and tendons about the elbow have to deal with that stress. So if it hurts, try not to do it. If it's due to uh, tennis or golf or an athletic activity, you probably want to get a coach to watch your form and make sure your form is good. For example, tennis and golf, you should be using the large muscles of your legs and your core along with your weight transfer to generate the forces. Your shoulder and elbow should only be used to transfer those forces to the racket of the club, not to generate them. If you're using your wrist to try to uh, generate those forces, you're gonna have uh, overuse injuries and often uh, have problems. Um, you can also use a counterforce brace or a tennis elbow brace. Uh, those help decrease the uh, force transmission to those vulnerable tendons. Helps about 80% of people. You put your two fingers below the elbow crease, make a fist and then make it pretty tight so that when you have a fist, it's tight and it's just firm and on there when you are, are relaxed. Um, steroid injection can be helpful. Uh, the over-under is 90 days of pain relief. Again, if it's mild, you'll think it cured you, but your body just cured it because it was so mild while you were comfortable. The mainstay of cure is rehabilitative exercises. I've done videos on LinkedIn and YouTube already demonstrating those exercises. I won't repeat that. It just takes about three or four minutes a day. That restores strength to these tendons so they can absorb the uh, forces that you're putting on them through your activities. Now, for the 75 to 95% of people, that'll take care of it. It can take a few months, two or three months for the rehab to be fully effective, but usually that cures it. If not, and it bothers you to the point where you just don't want to live with it and you can't modify your activities or you don't want to and it's a problem, then you're looking at uh, a surgical solution. Now, uh, some of the older surgeries were ill-advised. What you want to do is just take out the bad tendon. The bad tendon is painful in and of itself. You just want to remove it like a bad appendix. Just take it out. Some of these surgeries try to repair it, which is repairing bad tendon, which you still have the tendon in, and then it's too tight because of the repair. And they have problems. I've had to revise a number of those. Uh, some people take bone, which is really painful, uh, and again, doesn't get rid of the bad tendon. Um, some people do releases, which I've had to revise a number of them because you're just leaving the bad stuff in. It's like leaving a bad appendix in your body. Just take out the appendix. These more modern surgeries, uh, much lower complication rate because they don't injure normal tissues um, and 97% success rate. These, these do really well. Uh, it's outpatient. It's under half an hour 
and they do really well. You're just in a splint for three days, so you get your motion back early, start strengthening after two to four weeks whenever you're comfortable, and they do really well. So basically, um, non-operative management helps the vast majority of people, uh, avoiding painful activities, the tennis elbow braces, um, the, and the therapy. The strengthening, which is really just going once or twice to therapy. It's easy, you do it on your own every day at home, takes you three or four minutes a day. The vast majority, that's all you need for those that still have pain and uh, don't want to live with it, don't want to modify their activities. The more modern surgeries are extremely, in fact, extremely effective. Thank you for your time today, Dr. Budoff. Thank you.